Hey everyone, it's Desiree and I am here with Birch Press Designs and for today's project I am going to be using the Epiphany Plate Layering Die Set. Now there are three plates um, to this set. Now again, as always, um, for this one you could actually just get the top one and do some beautiful designs. What I'm actually going to do with each of these plates is something that looks elegant we can still turn it into a halloween and it's simply by using certain colors so by taking these plates and using certain colors of cardstock or pattern paper you can change the entire look of the design that you're using so in this case i'm using an extremely brightly bright lime green. I'm using a satin black foil card and then I'm using a plum foil card from my stash of a plum mirror foil card. When it comes to layering these dies, I do find an applicator liquid glue I do find is best. Um, and I do find a liquid glue applicator. So again, I usually, I also have some that are from Amazon, um, or the applicator for the art glitter glue is really well because it is very fine. It can allow you to get in those areas that are thin when it comes to these dies. You can see I was layering the main plate together. And it went together very easily, but you can also see with this plate, you get three separate images. You get the background, which I am now placing on my standard A2 size card base. And I chose an orange. I figured that would go good with the purple and the lime green that I chose. And of course the black. So I'm just trimming off because obviously I didn't put it on straight. We're good. We just trim around it, it works. So you actually get three images <clears throat> or three styles from this set. You get the outer area, which would be great on its own, and then just put a sentiment in the middle. You get this center circle, which again would be great on its own, put a sentiment going across it, um, or um, you can set it off to the side or you can set it back into the original die. So again, you do have choices when it comes to these pieces. You also get the center medallion and you can see that up in the left hand corner. So that center medallion is very unique while the other two pieces that I'm working with now, they look very similar in the design. Now, one of the things that I saw that kind of made me go towards, let's make this a Halloween card or a Halloween style um, type note card is the fact that those two pieces look like a web to me. Um, and I am not a spider bite in any means, liking, fan of, anything like that. Far from it. Um, but for some reason, this die just made me think of a spider's web. The medallion was different. Um, it's a beautiful medallion. You could make beautiful ornaments with this. Um, and again, just by changing your colors, the medallion just, it, it told me, okay, I need to set this off to the side. And that is pretty much what I do. I am going to grab the oxide because this is going to sit up from the rest of the card and I'm going to make sure I go around the edges um, that are white from cutting the cardstock and I just want those to be set in black. You can see that's exactly what I'm going to do with that medallion. I want to take it off of the edge. So I want it, I don't want to set it in the center um, and have that sit right there. So I'm just going to use a piece of double-sided foam tape 
for the piece that's hanging off to make sure that that's sitting on something. Now with me thinking or seeing somehow a, a spider's web, we will need a spider. This one was tough for me. Um, I mean, I'm okay with, I mean, if I see them, no, but I mean, even to play with this piece of wood, it was, oh, it was tough. So I am going to use a piece of uh, double-sided foam and I'm going to set that down onto my card. I did use some of my Nouveau embellishment use mousse to color that in the black ash. So that is our card. You can simply take these dies and by using different colors of cardstock, you're going to get a completely different look each time and it'll match the theme that you're going for. So again, in my case, a Halloween note card just to send someone a ghoulish note. <laughs> I do hope you enjoyed today's project using the Birch Press layering die set called Epiphany. All the products, as always, as I that I used in today's video will be listed down below in the video con in the video description. Sorry about that. If you have a question or comment, leave those down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for stopping by, spending just a little bit of time with me. If you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe. Make sure you ring the bell so that you know when the next video's up. I hope everyone is having a great day, but remember what's most important for me. Always be creative.